Oh no, no, no. Oh no. Despacito. Are you just sleeping weirdly or... Oh no, it seems like he had another seizure, but he didn't survive it. Oh no. Before I went to bed, I came here to the dark den to see how everyone is doing, if anything interesting is going on. And unfortunately, that was what I encountered. I stopped recording because I knew what is going on, but I was hoping that maybe he is just sleeping weirdly because he had a tendency to sleep kind of weirdly and I had a couple of scares with him, so to say, where he looked like something bad is going on, but... He was actually fine. Dobro. Is it dobro? Is it so? Bože, is it me splashil? Eh, pa ti si dobro, dobro, dobro. Okay, sorry. Pa kako je to plašiš? Ha? Jo, 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 Despacito. But unfortunately reality is Despacito passed away yesterday. And before we continue I need to say a couple of things because I know that immediately there will be a bunch of people jumping to their conclusions, writing things down in the comments. Yeah, I'm aware that he got uh, MBD, the metabolic bone disease, but that is something that he had ever since he was a baby back when I got him. So, so before any of you write that he died because of my bad care or whatever, keep in mind that he was sick from the start and it was expected that he will have a shorter lifespan, although I was hoping that it won't be this short. Uh, keep that in mind and also keep in mind that he was my pet and I had him for seven years and now he died and I no longer have him and I need to go through all of that. So yeah, be kind before you jump to any conclusions. I had him for a bit less than seven years. I got him as a baby and from the start, on the very first picture that I took from him, from the very first video that I took from him, he already had a bent tail, which is a sign of metabolic bone disease. At the time of me getting him, I wasn't aware of that, but I was quickly informed by my comment section. And I was hoping that is not true, but yeah, it was. For first like four years of his life, I would say, he didn't show any signs of trouble, you know. He ate normally, he behaved normally, he was active, he was curious, and he was a really energetic little dude. And OG followers will remember him making a lot of noise when I was recording videos. He was always moving around the enclosure and making scratching sounds when I was trying to record my videos. So he was often featured in my videos and a lot of you guys loved him for that. But then like three years ago, there was an incident where he had like um, some sort of seizure that looked really, really bad. Oh no, oh no, I was I was just calling the guy and he again started started doing something. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Despacito. And I was certain that he wouldn't be able to recover and that I will need to take him to the wet and put him down. But miraculously, even though those seizures looked really, really bad, uh, he somehow managed to recover. I mean, not somehow. I took him to the vet and he received some sort of treatment. So he recovered, but ever since then he wasn't the same old Despacito. He was much less active, he didn't move as much, he wasn't as interested in food. So slowly but surely I started featuring him in the videos less. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of you that started watching me in past few years didn't even realize that I have a bearded dragon. And when it comes to care, he always had huge enclosure, much bigger than people usually keep their bearded dragons in. He had the uh, Arcadia Reptiles UVB, which is one of the best UVBs on the market, that I of course regularly replaced. I offered him variety in food, at least when it comes to feeders, because I have multiple different species of 
roaches and also on occasion got crickets and they were always dusted with calcium powder and either vitamin powder you know actually three types of powders this and where did i put the calcium ah, it's here so i was rotating calcium pro uh, earth pro a and revitalize d3 they are arcadia's products and i'm using them for all of my reptiles the only thing that i'm aware that wasn't correct he really really didn't like to eat vegetables even though they should eat a lot of vegetables but i barely get him to eat any greens and i often had to trick him with a roach where i would show him roach and as he was trying to grab the roach i would just put vegetable in front of the roach so he would grab the vegetable first that thing definitely didn't help with his health anyhow let's go and check him out now yeah and then we need to bury him outside next to felix and sasha this will now be a really sad part of the video because yeah you have seen him but now you need to see him again here he is on the same place where i left him yesterday and his mouth are no longer closed which leads me to think that yesterday when i spot him he probably died recently because his mouth was still open and when he had those seizures uh while having seizures he would open his mouth just like his mouth were open so it definitely seemed like he just died as i came here and he was still kind of warm and not warm but he wasn't stiff and now when i try him yeah now he's stiff so uh oh, despacito despacito we had a good run right you and me and you see he had a huge enclosure with a lot of space to roam around but he didn't really use it now all the lizards that remain in the dark den uh, not counting the ones in the in the jungle area you know the the small lizards are thor he is a leopard gecko and the other one is chips the crested gecko so they are the only two left oh and of course eight the tortoise he is actually outside and I'm going to show you when we go outside I didn't even inform you that he was renamed by my daughter he's now called Kicho, so yeah, <laughs> eight is now Kicho. Uh, let me grab Despacito, grab some rug. So I'm gonna place him inside and Despacito, Despacito, my little body. I'm gonna miss him so much. You see, this is the spot, and if you're wondering how I actually know because everything is covered with, gla with grass, let me show you. You see, I have the spot marked with this piece of rock. I mean, it's not rock, it's not marble but something similar like that so under it i have felix and sasha sasha was gramostola rosea my first tarantula and he was actually a male so that's why he didn't live for long and also felix is under here uh, he is my chameleon and i will dig a hole right here to put despacito in so i don't dig over uh, felix felix and sasha and mosquitoes are killing me let me grab a shovel you know what actually will cut the grass right here. there we go and also i totally forgot i have this rock uh, under this is sasha and under this is felix so i will need to put a new rock here i know that it's kind of shallow but it doesn't really matter goodbye despacito you were an awesome pet and i will forever remember you and thanks to all the video you will be forever remembered online and you entertain thousands and thousands of people so even though your life was short it was a good life <sighs> i would love to stay longer here but mosquitoes are making it unbearable they're actually all over the camera and all around me so let's just quickly check where uh eight is i mean where kicho is this is our garden and he actually resides in this area but now he's probably already in his sleeping spot yeah his sleeping position you see right there Kicho. Wanna say hi to people? Yeah, there is the head. So I'm just going to disturb you for a little bit just so people can see how big you are now. Look. He is huge. Kicho, hello. No, that is not. 
not food those are my fingers yeah he's doing great he's loving it here and he got his very own spot to move around and do activities you know do you want me to give you something to eat yeah i'm pretty sure you want that i was convinced that he's asleep and that he won't be active but nope i will just quickly yoink this and a little bit of this and a little bit of this that is his stuff Kicho, 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 come here. There we go. <laughs> Look, he's running towards the food. <laughs> oh, yes. Bring a little bit of joy in this to this really, really sad video. Yeah, but now I need to run because mosquitoes, yeah, they're killing me. Uh, let's go inside. Now, I think I wanted to add something more, but. Now I can't remember, so therefore now we will go into uh, some tear shedding despacito edit and then after I edit this part of the video I will see if I need to, if I need to add something. Yeah...